What's up guys? John here and I'm here with my beautiful wife Sharice. Hey guys. My son Peter and our special guest the O'Hearn family. Mike, Mona and little Titner in the house. And uh, you know on Cupid's Corner we're here every week for you guys to hopefully ignite, entice and take your relationship to a whole different new level. Me and Sharice being together for over 15 years and seeing all the other relationships from our families and friends and other people we want to give you guys different perspectives that will definitely help you guys out. Whether you're in a current relationship right now, or hey, listen, maybe you're single and you're looking for that perfect romantic relationship that's going to take you to whole new heights. So that point this week, you know, we're sitting in the house. We're actually just sitting here with our friends. And I was like, you know what? Let's shoot a Cupid's Corner because this is something that couples should want to do. Whether it's sitting with their family or relaxing outside or doing activities and they're swimming, they're barbecuing, or you know, playing basketball or you know, maybe wiffle ball outside. Or you have great friends like Mike, Mona, and Titan that are over here and visiting us from a different state and actually getting to enjoy their time and not just doing the activities or having great conversations like we have, but you know, breaking bread and eating a great meal together. You have no idea what that, that is. It's like when you do something like that, you know, you're getting on a personal level with whoever it is and you're creating another bonding experience. And you're like, wow, John, like you're talking about just like hanging out for a little bit. But that personal time, it's it goes so far, especially when you're on a genuine level and, you know, you're just vibing with each other and you're just relaxing. There's nothing forced. There's no pressures. It's just you guys just having a good time and just being you. And that, that's really what it's all about. And I think that's one thing that couples miss these days is, you know, we're so busy and we're so on the go and, you know, different schedules, you know, the parents may have and, and they're barely seeing each other. They're barely spending time. But you got to set that time aside to have that relationship with your partner or your family, your son, your daughter, your fur babies, whoever it may be. Yeah. It's, listen, it's easy to just say, OK, everybody go do your thing. And you got one guy that's over here. And they're watching football, and then you got the wife that's watching Lifetime in the room, and then you got the son playing video games in his bedroom, and everybody's having a great weekend, but everyone's separate. That doesn't really do much for your bonding and being able to really hang out. So yes, you must have to force them. Tell them, come on, come sit down on the couch. Come sit next to me. Give me a hug. Come put your, your head on my lap. Let me, you just scratch your back. This guy over here, <laughs> Jesus. But, you know, it's little things like that that, you know, it really makes a big difference. And it's stuff like that that they remember. You know, I think that's one thing that sets our relationship aside is we spend so much time together. And the cool thing with Mike and Mona is they're kind of like us, where they spend yeah. majority of their time together, right? Well, they're working cool. together all, all day, super every cool. day. And not everyone can do that. Not everybody can do that. And we were talking about it at dinner the other night where we were talking about, you know, when the pandemic happened, it forced people to stay home and be together. And some relationships that were long-term relationships or marriages didn't last because when you're constantly together, um, you're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you're going to have all the quirks of your partner and see all those quirks, but you should love them for those quirks too. I mean, obviously not everything is peaches and cream 110% of the time and nothing's perfect in life and nobody's perfect, but you know, you want to give your best to your partner and you want the best back. And I, I think, you know, it really shows your true colors as a relationship of how much time you guys can spend together and, um, you know, and enjoy each other's company too as well it's not just sitting in a room and you guys are both on your phones but you guys are in the yeah. same room it's it, does, it doesn't count it's literally spending that time like literally like i've been trying to put my phone aside for you know the last couple months where Woo! i'm i'm spending time with them i'm not worried about <laughs> anything that's going on on the phone it's hard um but it, they, now they call the black the hole one. where nobody can get a hold of me because like oh what are you doing so what do you think mike i mean do, do you got any 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 uh, great information for them because, like I said, input. you know, you do the same thing as I do, right? You spend the majority of time with, with your, your lady and, and your, your son, and uh, I think that's that's all worthwhile. And you know, the sacrifice from anything else to be with them is is the benefit, I guess. Yeah, I I, I can't add much more to what you guys have already <laughs> said. Is it's you're precise. It's 
I know the elders always say, marry your best friend, or, or, or if you're going to spend time with it, that person should be your best friend. And yeah. um, I can tell that with you guys. And I get there's a relationship there, but they're also your, your partner, but you're also best friend that you want to spend time with. Yeah. Fully understand that. I love it. I love that we're stuck together because yeah. <laughs> of choice we're, we're, we get By to choice. do. Um, and that's what, like, you guys get to work together, which is a cool plus. Yeah. And when we started uh, dating and stuff, um, there was a lot of uh, commitments that we had to, uh, how would you say this? How to break it down? A better choice would be we had to make decisions on where we wanted to go with the future and more um, an arrowhead. A small pinpoint. You give up some stuff. Right. You mm -hmm. can't have, you, you gotta, exactly. You gotta Absolutely. sacrifice a lot. Absolutely. And I always say just live in the moment. Yes. Live right. in the moment. Right. Because this times you'll never get to the moment back. That, that moment. This will back. not ever be back. It's so, so true. what's happening today, it's gonna be gone. And we'll talk about it, but live in the moment. Yes. Yeah. And that's why I said to John, do whatever makes you happy yeah. and don't care about anybody else's sets, you know? Yeah. True. So it's so true. true. Mm -hmm. It's so true. so true. After so many years of um, constantly always being the pleaser and always being the person to want to please everybody, sometimes you do forget that you do have yourself too. And, you know, you do have your life. And I always say it. I, I'm, I'm notorious for saying this. You, you do not know what tomorrow holds for you. Is so that is why you have to live in the moment like Mona says. You know, it's, it, you may not get the moment back. Right. So you don't get time back. If I could buy more time, man, I would spend all my money on time. I would invest in time. I would buy more time, <laughs> stock in time. You know, just I would buy so much time. But, you know, unfortunately, it's not something you can buy, not something you can get back. So, you know, you have to use your time wisely. Use your time wisely and don't waste your time. Don't waste so, it. So like we've always talked about on this, communication is key with your partner, right? And you got to recognize, is your partner good for you or not? Now, listen, not all relationships are good relationships. There's positive relationships and there's toxic relationships out there. And at that point, you got to recognize some of these different things. Some people get into um, the habit of choosing something that's always going to be negative for them because they're so used to it, whether it was their upbringing, whether it was a, a previous partner, um, but you gotta, you know, as you're dating or you're going through these steps of relationships, it's kind of like a pyramid, right? You go with somebody, but you broke up with them for certain reasons. These are certain reasons that maybe you can't like, you can't live with, whatever it is. So you gotta be more choosy on your next partner and say, listen, this is kind of what I'm looking for here. And if they don't fit that mold, it doesn't mean they might not be a good partner for you, but it might not fit your mold of what you're really looking for and what makes you happy. You got it. You got it. You got to go with what makes you happy too, as well. Mm -hmm. um, but you want somebody that's going to lift you up, that's going to give you positive energy back, and not drain energy from you too, as well, or do negative things for you. Um, I've seen a whole bunch of relationships out there where this is the case, or it's one person that is so infatuated and loved with the other person, but that's not reciprocated back, and that mm -hmm. person really doesn't care about yeah, them. Yeah, it's a one-way street. But they stay in that relationship because they're so hooked on that person. They love that person so much but that person's never gonna reciprocate it back. And if you don't recognize that, you're gonna have a lot of time that you've wasted on that person. Now, if your partner's not doing something for you that you don't like, you need to communicate that with Open them. your mouth. You don't have to be mean about it, but sit them down and have a conversation with them because don't assume that they know what you're talking about or what you're thinking or what you've done and you're upset at them about. I mean, it's, it's just something that you have to communicate and you have to talk about and say, ask Listen. John, go ahead. Tell him, ask him, tell, tell him when, it, when was the notorious time of me telling John and communicating my feelings. Pick the John. right times because you know, like I said, <laughs> no relationship is perfect. And then Sharice have went through our, you know, little bumps in the road too as well. But you know, every time that Sharice would be mad about something or have something serious to talk to me about, it would be at night. <laughs> Right before I'm about to close my eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> Literally. Or I might close them. Yeah. Say, hey, John. No, I'd be like, hey, so, babe. Um, I'm like, oh, what Is now? there something I can talk to you about real fast? And he's like, seriously? I mean, he's like, I just took a shower. <laughs> I'm laying down. I'm ready to go to sleep here. You know, I'm relaxing. And at that point, what happens? She hits me with this serious conversation or something serious that she didn't like it. And we have to go through this. And... 
you know, at that, that point in time, I'm kind of done with the day. You know, it, 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 there's, listen, there might not ever be a perfect time to bring something up. That was a great time for me because then he would, be, he would be lethargic. He couldn't fight back. See? Yeah. <laughs> she's trying to get me when I'm weak and when I'm down. Watch out for these girls. I always call a shriek, she's the wolf in sheep's clothing. Because she looks all pretty and nice on the outside. But man, when the, when it, the claws come out, you're in trouble. So at that point, you know, it's it's just something that you guys need to take in consideration with uh, what you're looking for and for you to be happy. And you only have one life to live. You only have so much time on this planet. So be happy and enjoy your time with whoever it is. And like I said, it's not going to be peaches and cream all the time. There's ups and downs in life. Good stresses, bad stresses. You got to roll with the punches. Don't just let make sure that down. the good outweighs the bad. Absolutely. And just make sure, you know, this is something that you want to do. Don't be forced into anything or don't be feel like you have to be there. Some people get in relationships and they've been in relationships so long and they don't like the relationship they're in, but they're comfortable there and they're uncomfortable getting out of the relationship to try mm -hmm. to have to go through that process again Truth. or they can't be alone. Um, you, you gotta be able to love yourself and you gotta be able to spend some time by yourself. If you can't do that, you, you don't wanna be codependent on anybody or depending on their vibe or energy to lift you up every day. Mm -hmm. If you have that energy and you bring that to the relationship and they have that energy, it's, it's just like me and her or him and her. Yeah. And they, they bring that energy together and just explodes into a whole new peak. To a superpower and, couple. And tier, like you would say top tier of, of where you're at. Mount Olympus is what I would say. And, um, you know, when, when you reach that level and you're happy like that, I mean, time just flies by. 15 years, 14-year-old son, you know, and, and everything that goes along with it. And, man, just it's time is flying by. I'm yeah. loving it. Uh, enjoying it and, and just want to be happy and, and spend time with them. Watch him grow up and to be a hopefully uh, excellent man, right? Where he's a productive part of society. He's got positive masculinity. He's teaching his kids the values, ethics, morals, and traits that we've instilled in him. And hopefully they go on to do the exact same. And um, that should be what your goal is. Hopefully, if you don't want to have kids, I understand that too. Just invest in your partner, invest in your fur babies or whatever you want to do and um, enjoy it. So that is another Cupid's Corner. And this is kind of like an improv uh, one that we yeah, want to go. We're like, you know what? Let's sit here and listen to Cupid's Corner. You know, we got Mike in here. They're probably like, ah, what are we doing here? But you know what? I want to throw them in the big stew. I, I like to bring them in because they're like diversity. us. Good. They're like us. They're, they're very similar. You know, they, so, they work together and they're together all the time. And they, I haven't seen them bite each other's face off. So that's what really brought me to do this because I was like, you know what? I was like, we're always together. They're always together. I was like, this is something cool for people to see because they might see our relationship. Like, you guys are an anomaly, right? You're an anomaly. This doesn't happen every day to everybody like this. And I could definitely not be with my partner every day. But there's, there's a lot of people out there like that. And you don't have to be like that. Some people, they have a great relationship the way it is. And if that works for you, then continue exactly. on and be happy. All right. So that's another Cupid's Corner for me, Sharice, Pete, big Pete now, <laughs> uh, my man, Michael Hearn. His girl, Mona, and little Titan, his son. And Not all the tight. fur babies we got hanging out here. Zoe, Zena, Sashi. Big, big juice in the background. Got right here, Andreas and Jay taking Arteroni. photos. Much love to everybody out there. And catch us on Cupid's Corner every Sunday on ABC at 11 a.m. And don't worry, you can DVR it. And if you miss it or you're out of the state, don't worry. Just go to our YouTube channel. Type in Tight Medical Center. Hit the subscribe button. Ding. The all notification bell. Ding. You'll get to see all these great episodes and a lot more cool content from us and Tight Medical Center. We love you. Thank you for the support. And we'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.